What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Josh and Brandy Helm here and we're excited because it's another finished tour day. Mm -hmm. So and it's Brandy's birthday. Yeah, so. so someone's getting a new barn door for their birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wish it was all that, that easy, but you know, we're here on the Wills Point Barn Dominium and we are looking forward to showing you guys uh, what we've got going on here. Tell them a little bit of the details. So we have 1760 square foot of living. It's three bedroom, two bath, and about 400 square foot of porches. Yep, and uh, so it's got some really neat looking finishes, and uh, I like a lot of these details here on this one. So I think you guys are gonna enjoy it too. Hope you enjoy this video. Let's get it going. And this is the inside of this beautiful barn dominium. It's a great room. It's kind of got everything all in, in one place. Yeah, it so. starts off with these double doors here, which is a really nice touch. And the fireplace here on the back side, which is where a lot of the living is supposed to happen. Um, well, the living's going to happen throughout the house, but the living room. And I think our TV and stuff like that's going to go on this side. We also have this big, huge air mover fan going as well in this room. Uh, so it's, it's, it's an interesting layout because you got the openness of it and you could pretty much go back and forth probably with the way you wanted to use this room. Um, but you could have a sitting area here. You could technically set up your living area probably on either side uh, or use the whole space. And then also, uh, there's a little bit of space in this area for a dining room or dining area, which is not always as as uh, doable okay. in some of the spaces, but here there's plenty of space. And we have stained concrete floors throughout, so it's a little squeaky because they're freshly polished, but right. um, it looks really, really nice. They're, they're not shine to them. So the wall colors are agreeable gray, I think, yeah. and we've got a pure white paint, white trim on the doors, as well as all of your trim carpentry, uh, except for the cabinets, which are stain grade. One of the things, and we talk about this all the time, but in a barn dominium is you have the uh, option for having a vaulted ceiling. It's easier done. Uh, now, unless you have super high eave heights, uh, it becomes a little more difficult because you've got such high ceilings so in this particular build, we're using the full vault. So this is the actual roof line that we're using in the shape of this build. And uh, so I think it's like a five to six, 12 pitch, uh, which is normal, uh, about normal for us. It's, you know, you can go three twelve, four twelve, you know, something of that nature. But uh, this is putting a nice feel in this room. Now, because of the vault, we weren't able to have just one air conditioning system without, you know, sometimes you have to, you have to either build a fur down or something to bridge across from one side to the other. So here we actually, which is kind of nice because you're zoning uh, if, if given that option. So the, this side of the house is the guest living or alternate bedrooms. And the other side is the master suite where everything else is. So you got most of the house being ran on this unit and then these isolated rooms being ran on something else. But we're in the kitchen, so let's talk about let's talk about details here. Okay. So, so we've got the oven here. It's it's really cool. It's got the the doors that open instead of the pull down. Um, it's similar then, to our our uh, Itasca build. Yeah, and I, this is like a convection oven. I think you use those microwaves as well. So it's kind of both. So all your popcorn goes into this. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and a tower of cabinets here with the uh, uppers, which this is a nine foot full height cabinet that you know all these, these appliances are banking, banking into. And moving right along, we've got a uh, undermount porcelain white sink here. Uh, and the, the countertops are just a level one ornamental white granite. So they're, but they're really pretty. They've got some, some grays and different tones in it. So it's an ornamental white, which I guess all the ornaments is where all the colors are. So, but um, it, it's, yeah, level one, and which is a really nice color. You know, a lot of people don't realize it, but you know, you get in your level ones, 
level two a lot of times is just it's just the difference in uniqueness and it's a little more busy in, in like the level ones you have a more you have more of a pattern and then you get less and less and a little more solid colors in your, your upper but level. it's almost impossible to get a solid color in a natural granite so you're always going to have some kind of pattern um, also we have this uh, faucet which is a aura bronze yeah all the hardware in here the handles all the and uh, a really nice stone backsplash, which looks really cool. And some, a beautiful vase by none other than yeah. Mrs. Texas Best here. <laughs> so beautiful uh, display of flowers. And sometimes uh, we may be changing that up a little bit in the future. I don't know. Got special things planned. Yeah. I know you were talking about that. Yeah. What do you guys think? I think keep the flowers. I may change up the base. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. So there may be room for doing a little bit of change. But yeah. um, Also, we have this light, which is a kind of a wall sconce light, which hangs over this area, which is nice for at nighttime. But you also have the window looking out the back of the property, uh, which is good if you want to check on what's going on back there. Um, we've got a full height upper cabinet um, as well. So... And the dishwasher. So now this is the cafe version. So this is this is a nice appliance package for sure. Cafe series. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then I really like some of the different different things that they picked for their like their doorknobs are kind of ornate and the uh -huh. different the different uh, handles aren't you know so modern. They have a little bit more of a different feel to them. Show them this cool little pantry. A little corner pantry. I really like the layout on this one because it's it's a little different instead of having just solid, just plain shelves all the way through that kind of got it divided. Yeah, so up. this design is something you can kind of do without maybe breaking the bank and trying to do full-blown cabinets with the, you know, butcher block top and stuff, some of that kind of stuff you guys have seen us do in the past. Um, but this is a way you can kind of build your shelving with just some of your, your standard. You can kind of change material. up your heights and stuff to make sure your cereal or your, your cereal boxes or maybe even some of the appliances that you want to kind of tuck away can fit in there. So. Yeah, that's really nice. Um, and you know, this it's sort of similar to kind of how we did on the Campbell Barnuminium, but um, I like it. It's got a lot of usable space and uh, it should work out well for them. And this spot right here is fantastic uh Vena hood displayed built uh looks pretty neat with the whole wood custom piece and they've got also a pretty nice Vena hood package under here and then i've got the, the pot filler those are really popular they're really it's really kind of a neat thing you can kind of instead of hauling your water from over here and the big heavy pan you just get over here and fill it up yeah i've never really heard it explained super well but you know some people always assume there's some form of laziness involved with pop no, no, no. <laughs> no, no laziness involved here no. it's just it's just a convenience luxury water's heavy yeah especially when it's going in a pan that's a right big, a big pan so. so you're hearing it here first this is where a lot of the justifications come for needing to unless the husbands want to help out and carry the water you know to the so, but there's really some cool drawers underneath here. You can put all your, uh, your skillets and your pans and things like that. Absolutely, a lot of drawer space uh, for the pots and pans and all that. And uh, I like how Brandy's assuming that it's not gonna be the husband that's doing the cooking, you know? And I mean, I don't know, <laughs> but it really just depends on the household, I suppose. Like. Yeah. <laughs> That's our household. In our <laughs> house, it's probably more the teenagers doing the last minute cooking. Actually, there's not a whole lot of cooking going on in our house. <laughs> All right. So I also like the symmetrical side of this, you know, centering this piece. And we have the glass as well on these upper cabinets, which is always a nice detail. Um, and the stained cabinets. Just the dark walnut. That's so cool. it looks amazing. I really love it. And a uh, full wrapped refrigerator cabinet here um, for this space with the, with the of course, complimentary upper cabinet storage, which is always an enormous amount of storage. Uh, and then here we have a very large island, which 
All the islands in Texas are big. Yeah, right? I feel like ours is bigger. Here. Yeah, that's right. We <laughs> have a space. lot of drawer space and a trash store here, so there's a lot of a lot of storage under here. Yes, and you got the shelf storage. You have all the full uh, drawers, and then a lot of space as well for all your bar stools. Right. We got so. our pendant lights over the top. Um, and they're they're kind of the old red bronze match all the the hardware we've got. So yeah, yeah simple design, but look really nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, all this is looking back over this big open room. So we want to go show you guys some more of the house. Let's head on over to this side. So we have this little hallway. It's not huge, so you don't have a lot of wasted space, but it's actually an access point between the two bedrooms because I have one room over here and one over here. So we're going to go into this one first. Well, they're identical. They're the same size. They've got the same closet, the same square footage. They're both 11 by almost 13, 11 by 13 size room. Yeah, and I mean, perfect, you know, good enough size for you to uh, set up full bedroom as far as dresser and all that yeah. kind of stuff. It's pretty doorknob. Hello. <laughs> and the walk-in closet, a little bit of walk-in space, but you got the... This is our typical standard closet shelving design here with double rack storage on both sides and the cubby shelves on the middle. Um, no suitcase storage here, which Brandy <laughs> likes to call it because uh, we just have a conventional shelf there. All right, and into here, this is just our, our guest bathroom here. Um, of course, you can see the shower uh, on the end, but I'll talk about the vanity first. It's about a four foot vanity with uh, your shaker style uh, painted white cabinets, simple uh, hardware, as well as the fountain faucet here, which is kind of neat, and our framed mirrors with the bar light above. This is, uh, of course, the typical bathroom, about a 10 by five. And uh, this is the shower, which has our full wrap tile going all the way up to the top, and a soap box here, and uh, the you know, the simple bathtub option for the shower tub combo here. And uh, we also have the upper cabinet storage above the toilet, but it's not super low. So in hopes that you're not going to hit your uh, head on that. <laughs> so we'll move on in here and we've got another bedroom that's just like the other one. Yep, identical size and everything. Three bedrooms, two baths. Yep. Same closet set up over here. That's right. The auto light. Right. Got to keep your door shut. Keep the lights <laughs> off. <laughs> it's not always a, an automatic thing that we, we do that. It's it's usually when our clients request it, but we, we'll do the auto lights. But And one thing, all these bedrooms have, just have a, a regular ceiling fan and, and they have cam lights in all these rooms. Right. So keeping it simple. And we do have the, the TV plugs and stuff as well through here. All right, so here we have the master bedroom. That looks so good. The same concrete, same agreeable gray that we've got everywhere else. Yeah, and all the accenting. Now, this is actually different than what I originally thought. We have 10 foot ceilings and that's throughout in the bedrooms, not nine foot. So I might've told you guys that wrong earlier. I'm not sure, but it's 10 foot ceilings and uh, which gives you that airy spaciousness if you have room. Um, if you're going to build a barn dominium with a steel structure and you want to have a 10 foot ceiling, I would recommend at least a 12 foot eave height. That is a comfortable space and it also doesn't give you too much wall space on the outside. Uh, so you're not wasting too much, but you have plenty of space for all your steel and all that to come together as well as your ceiling joists. So keep that in mind on your bedrooms. Uh, if you know, you need to be a couple feet higher allowing for your beam space and all that kind of stuff that's happening. Mm -hmm. So coming out of this room, we're going to the master and we have the double doors here, moving into here. Double mm -hmm. sink vanity here with the full, you know, trimmed mirror, uh, framed mirror. And off of this space is, we've got the master tub over it's a, here. It's a claw foot tub, it's fancy. Fancy claw mm -hmm. foot and with the backsplash, the tile surround, which matches in our master shower. Also for the shower, we have 
a really nice setup here. Wow, it's got all kinds of body sprays and all the, the extras in here. Uh, in our shower, we do have a full uh, bench seating as well as a big soapbox, which is the rectangular and uh, the flat stone for the back, as well as all of the uh, floor tile that we're using here as well. That looks fun. Looks really good. Uh, also, I should say we have a huge rain head in this shower. Um, now, when you're doing a rain head, one thing to keep in mind is don't do one light. You need to have two lights. That's what we always try to do, especially on a rectangular top shower, is split it up. If you're going to have a rain head in the middle, uh, you don't want to have some big shadow of the shape of the rain head. Yeah, you need to be able to see what you're doing. Right. So uh, that becomes like an obstruction. And so off of this area, we also have our big walk-in closet and, you know, we always try to do something a little bit special in here and uh, to, to make it personal, you know, and we try to usually get with our clients and, and doing whatever we can to give them the unique space that they need. Sure, because sometimes the guys have more stuff and they need their special spaces, but sometimes the ladies have more stuff and they need their yes. spaces. Yes, so yes. Uh, like in my closet, I need hat storage and all that kind of stuff, boot storage. Right. And you need like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> She's a simple girl, you know. Yeah, I don't have a whole lot of purses or I got the shoes, but. Well, I do like the shelving that we have here. Now, also, uh, we have, it goes on up, but we do have an attic access that comes into the space, uh, which, you know, it's something, it's of a necessity. And you got to be able to make access somewhere. So usually in the closet, a lot of time that happens. But uh, double storage, uh, or double hanging storage, double hanging storage, and then dress storage here on this side uh, with some additional shelving. So coming out of here, it actually flows into another area, which is the, the private toilet area. So we have pocket doors and moving from here, it goes into it's the mud room. The mud room laundry. Yeah, so you've utilities. got access to your, your master. This is kind of like a private. Right, and a really nice countertop that we have in here. Um, I think this is a little different countertop yeah, too. Did special here effect. something special, mm -hmm. uh, as well as light and bright. And we got the full cabinet storage, the mud, uh, the mud bench with the cubby space underneath the as well as, and the hangers. Yeah. And uh, the notorious utility panel there for your electric, uh, which you always need to find some kind of space. Kind of This space kind of reminds me of the Mansfield build just a little bit because of the way it flows. Mm -hmm. Cause Cause, this is the exterior door. This goes to the outside. Exactly. Uh, but nothing feels super small about this. Um, you know, I really like having the laundry room right there by your master, especially if, if you've got, you know, you can just bring your stuff over here and you can have close the barn door so nobody's, you know, if you need to run through here and grab something, right. you can. That's right. It's got a barn door here off the side to help keep some of the noise down because this flows back into our main space. There's so many things that you can do. It just, it, there's just really a lot of options, you know, with the barn dominium and you know, you can add shop space, port space. How do you want to carve out your style of living? You know, and something that is kind of cool too, if you're kind of on a budget and you need, you know, obviously you need your living space, but say you don't really have the extra for a shop right now, you can always add it later. You're always going to be able to match these metals and you can always, you know, kind of put that to the side or in the back or however you want to position that on your property. So you can always add a huge shop later. That's right. Or you, like you said, detached, you know. You got to get the ladies happy first and then you can add your shop later. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to them, you know. So uh, at the end of the day, you know, we're so thankful for how this project's turned out. It looks amazing. Um, and we know our clients are going to enjoy this project for many years to come. It's always uh, a, uh, It's always a special thing for us to be able to now turn this over to our clients and so that they can walk into many years of you know enjoyment on this property and so you know i hope you guys have enjoyed this tour and we got many more to come 
If you haven't already followed us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, subscribe now. Uh, don't forget to ring the bell. Put uh, something in the comments below and let her know how beautiful she looks today on her birthday <laughs> and how lucky I am or, you know, all the bad things you guys want to say about me and how, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for following us along. I'm Josh Helm. And I'm Brandy Helm. Wishing you all the best. Thanks for watching. Texas Best.